It's been quite a year, hasn't it? It's hard to believe we're at the end of 2020. Like, the start seems so recent. I can remember New Year's leave with my family and just how that felt so recent. But then I think about all the events that have happened and, well, <laughs> you don't need me to tell you it's been an interesting year. But, well, there has definitely been a lot of suffering in the world. It's actually been a good year for me personally. I've gotten to meet a lot of new people, gotten to do some cool things with my job when we weren't closed because of the pandemic, and I've had more free time to work on some fun projects, which, well, <laughs> some of the videos that you've seen have been because of that, along with some other things you haven't seen yet. So every year for Christmas, at the end of the 12 Days of Anime, I like just looking back at the year, talking about my experiences with the anime community, and now it's also some Twitch community too, and just remembering, reflecting, and thanking all the people who made the year as good as it was. So starting off the year, which was technically the very end of 2019, though I made, that it happened after I made that past video, it is IkiCon, an anime convention in Austin, Texas. I went to it with my friends Jordan and Jason, who I go to all these conventions with. And you know, you'll hear more from Jordan later. I'm kind of scared since I don't know what he uh, did for this video yet. But yeah, we went to IkiCon. It's an anime convention in Austin, Texas. And it was a bit more calm and smaller than the ones we normally go to in Dallas. But it was fun just to do something different. And in a way, it was like more relaxing. We spent a decent time just like playing board games with each other, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> Learned some new games there, and we should do this more often. I should message them about that online. <laughs> And it was also cool just, like, uh, getting to meet some other people in anime. I went to, like, a Fruits Basket panel, I think it was. I think. Was that that con? Yeah, and I went to one about, like, romantic comedy anime, and I learned some new ones from that. So it was a fun time. And then we came back, and then uh, on the with Jordan and Jason, a long time ago, and how I met them was a podcast that they were doing called the Speak Anime Podcast. And it basically... Uh, fell apart we like tried to film lots of videos we kept having trouble and then we kept not doing it we kept trying to bring it back but never went anywhere but this past year we actually did something that was more than a video and that was uh, talking about magia record pretty much every week and it was fun just like to get into that with people i kind of forgot that i did that until i was going through this list and i was oh wait that was this year we did that yeah that was winter uh we did like weekly videos on it we got some people to watch which is cool we haven't done anything with that channel since then, but that's okay. It was still fun to do. And then, let's see. Then the pandemic started happening, and then I ended up being home a lot more. So, since I was home a lot more, I ended up spending more time online watching streamers. Uh, Jordan ended up coming back to streaming. He did it some before, but, like, he did it for quite a while, though he had been inconsistent lately. But then, like, Animal Crossing came out, and he played that a ton, so I got to watch his streams. Uh, he switched his name to Kimori Knight, so if you see me talk about Kimori, that's him. I, I don't know if I should call him Jordan or Kimori or both, but that's what we are going to do. <laughs> and I got to meet a lot of people through his stream, uh, which I'll talk more about them later. And I also got to watch a lot of streams from my friend Drac, who he and his wife Andrea play a lot of games, and I laugh at them uh, dying. Or, like, I laugh at Drac dying, and then Andrea laughs at me laughing at him. So it's a fun time there. Uh, with the spring, we had the second season of Fruits Basket come out, so I ended up uh, doing the podcast again with Sea Tactics, who I've done a lot of things with. And yeah, we talked about Fruits Basket, and how great it was, and how Tover was the best, and all that. So unfortunately... Like around episode nine or ten or so, there started to be having some schedule conflicts, so we couldn't get together to do the con or do the podcast. Though there's still a lot I wanted to talk about, so I just like started to do them on my own. And then through uh, Jordan's stream, I ended up meeting another fan of Fruits Basket called Katie, who I became good friends with. And I thought, huh, she she seems like a fun person. Let's talk about Fruits Basket with her. So I ended up doing a podcast with her and C at times at the same time when C was able to come back and do them. So it was cool, lots, lots of people to talk about Fruits Basket with. Uh, plus, Katie was a big fan of the manga, so it was great like getting her perspective on this and just like how much it meant to her. And yeah, she's also a lot of fun to watch on stream. She does art and other stuff too, which is cool. And yeah, Fruits Basket was fun. <laughs> lots of emotions there. I'm excited for season three. I don't, yeah, I'll definitely be doing it with C, maybe Katie too. We'll have to figure out how that will work. Maybe, yeah, maybe do the one with C on his channel, maybe I'll do the one with Katie on mine, and then maybe get like 500 people for the final podcast. That would be cool. 
And then in the summer, ReZero came out, and I did not do a podcast on that one, but I ended up doing, like, weekly videos on it. And this is the first time I've done, like, weekly videos and actually stuck with it all the way through. I tried doing it for a couple other shows, but I just, like, lost interest because, well, there wasn't much to talk about with them. ReZero, though, there is a ton to talk about, ton to dig into. And I love just, like, talking with some of the fans, like, getting my theories out there, seeing how I was wrong, and just keep being surprised by what that show had to offer. It's a great one. I'm going to try doing that again um, next year. Next season? Yeah, that's next season. And then we did another podcast during the summer on Rent a Girlfriend with Sea Tactics as before, but also with my friend Everything Animated on Everything Animated's channel. And now, you guys might not know Everything Animated because I haven't done as much with him, but he has been the person I have known through the anime community the longest. Shortly after I made my account, I was like browsing the Crunchyroll forums and I saw a thing about anime YouTubers and like which ones people are interested in. And because we decided why not, we both like self promote ourselves there around the same time. And I saw him and I was like, oh, this guy looks cool. I'll comment on his videos. He did the same to mine. I, or, I don't know which order that was. But it was great because like we met each other. We've talked off and on since then. And this is the first time doing something with him on a consistent basis. Granted, Frantic Girlfriend was not a show any of us particularly liked, but that created its own sense of fun too. Because like, Fruits Basket is great, ReZero is great, all those shows I talked about with Sea Tactics are great, assuming we make it to the end. But it was interesting just looking at Frantic Girlfriend, which was not a good show. Had some interesting ideas, but it's not a show that I would have stuck with long term if it hadn't been for the podcast. But watching it just gave another look at the anime that come out. Because I tend to talk about the ones that great or stand out. If something's boring, I'm not going to spend much time talking about it. But here I did, and it was interesting to talk about. Talking about it with friends made the show better. And yeah, so go check out Everything Animated, Sea Tactics, Humori, Katie, all these other people that I need to, um, that I will list in the description, assuming I remember them. And if I do forget you, I don't mean anything by it. I threw this list together shortly before recording, and I'm probably am forgetting things. So if I forgot you, I'm sorry. Uh, comment down below, and I will add you to the uh, description. And then... Uh, well, typically during the summer is when I go to anime conventions. Again, go to Texas, go see friends, go have fun. But sadly, that did not happen because of a certain global pandemic. Though, you know, though it got to a point where I was like, okay, I need to go see friends. We might not have a big convention, but let's just go hang out for a few days. So in October, I flew to Texas. We uh, hung out with Jordan and Jason for the weekend, and we played board games and... Yeah. Oh, we went to round one, did a couple other small things. But there's just like a fun time together. And it was it wasn't a convention, but it was cool. Like I enjoy all my online friends. It's great to talk to them through Discord or streams or video games or whatever. But it's something different just like being with them. And so that was great just spending a couple of days with them. Uh, also through this year I've talked mainly about my stuff with anime, but I've also been streaming quite a bit more. Uh, last year, I think it was, I started streaming Danganronpa, and that was great, but I, like, never got on a consistent schedule or anything like that. It was like, I'm in the mood to play Danganronpa. Okay, I'll stream it. Stream it, like, once every couple weeks. you really into it. Stream it every day for a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that when I get into a good game. But uh, this year, at least for a while, I was trying to, like, stream every weekend or once or maybe even twice. Twice didn't really work out with everything else. But it's like, finding a game that's fun to... Uh, play with the community, let them see their reactions. I like, did Life is Strange, Oxen Free, uh, finish up the Danganronpa games. I haven't done V3 yet, but the main games. What else did I stream this? Oh, Katana Zero. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting one. I like it was a shorter game, so I thought, okay, I'll play it when I got through like an hour, hour and a half or so. And it's like, yeah, it's fun. I'll play some more next time. Next time I came around, played it. It was fun. I wanted to see what happened next. I got into like, oh, I'm nearly the end. One more level. Okay, I'll beat that. Oh, there's another level. Oh, I want to play that more. And that became a really, really long six-hour stream. It's fun, though. And I've uh, been playing Pokemon Sun recently. It's been a lot more relaxing. And that's really interesting. Pokemon Sun hasn't interested me. I think I need to, like, make a review of it. It's like, I thought I might not like it. I thought, like, maybe I'd outgrown Pokemon. And in a way, I kind of have. 
But this game like brings back what makes it so cool. And my computer just went to sleep. Hopefully Audacity is still recording. Yes, it is. That's good. All right. So, yeah, streaming has been fun. Um, I've also met other people through streaming, which has been great. Again, Kamori, Jordan, whatever you want to call him. Uh, then Katie, and then Bran, and then other people, too, like um, Toolwind, Jokey. I could probably just bring up the Discord tab. Oh, uh, Danny. Oh, Jared, of course. Jared was one of the people I went to Anime Fest with last year. And then, like, I kind of knew his cool guy but didn't know him that well but then i've talked to him a lot more through the other streams this year uh, lots of other people oh chris the best mod in the world who i need to make a mod on my stream because she's the best and all the other great people it has been fun and then this last week has also been very interesting i have the goal to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year I had mentioned that in passing a couple of times. And then I was excited thinking, oh, I'm close. I might be able to get it. And I mentioned it to my friend C Tactics, who uh, decided he was going to give me a shout out and see if he could help me reach there. <laughs> and well, as of making this video, I have surpassed 500 subscribers by approximately 70 or 80. Is it really up to 80? I don't think it is. Oh, it is 581. Yeah, so at this point I might hit 600. So, like, I made, uh, I mentioned it in Discord. He, like, made a post. I said, okay, if we're going to do this, I'm going to, like, post on Twitter, too. People are sharing this. And, yeah, I've gotten, like, 88 subscribers in the past three days because of that, which is amazing. And it just shows how great the community is, how much we want to help each other grow. Like, I've never made it big in the anime community. It's just fine. I just enjoy, like, talking to it for the people who listen. But I've really met some incredible people who like want to lift me up, or we want to lift each other up, like Sea Tactics, BB, Crimson. Oh, I need to talk about Crimson. Yeah, we haven't done much on like YouTube itself, but we've been having like uh, playing Among Us and Cards Against Humanity in his Discord server, which has just been like a fun way to relax and talk to people. I don't get to talk to that often, which is great. And who else? Should... Yeah, I think some other people are sharing my tweet too, which is really cool. So, yes, this has been a fun year. Not not exciting in the ways I hoped it would. Honestly, this year has been nothing like I expected, but it's been good. I remember thinking back at the start of the year, I wanted to like grow closer to my friends. That was my New Year's resolution, sort of. And I think I've succeeded. Like, I've made some great new friends. I've gotten to talk a lot more to my old friends. And, yeah. It's been a good year, at least for me. And I hope it has been a good year for you. I'm sure we've all had challenges, and I don't want to make light of that. But, you know, for the good and the bad that this year has thrown us, I do believe that next year will be better. There will definitely be challenges next year for sure, the end of the pandemic, whatever other challenges come forward. But I like to be optimistic. I like to see the best in the world, and... And I believe that next year could definitely be the best one yet. And to end this video, I've talked about Jordan, Kimori, Cal, whatever you want to call him, quite a lot this video. And so he has put together a piece to close it out, talking about his experiences with this year. And just so you're aware, I have not seen it yet. I do not know what he's doing. But I'm looking forward to it. So let's enjoy it together. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. And I will see you all later. And now, Jordan, take it away. Yeah, what's up, man? The end of the year video again? Yeah, yeah, no, I can, yeah. I got time, give me five minutes. Yeah, all right, peace. Love you, bro. Peace. All right, time to, uh... Time to save Rising's end of the year video once again. What's up? I'm Kamori, Jordan the God, Cow, etc. Whatever you want to call me, man. Listen, 
It's been a year. It's been a tough year. All right. It's been a tough year. Okay. We got COVID going on. Can't leave the damn house. Why do you think I'm wearing the same jacket, man? I can't go buy another one. Until you've seen both the shows I recommended last year, Bam, Tordor, and Sakura So. I don't care. Okay. Now listen, go watch both these shows. Bam, bam. Your two prerequisites to watching next year's video. Okay. You have a year. You have a year. Whew, I mean, come on. What, we start the year off fine? Everybody's happy? Start my year off. You want to know how I start my year off? I was at I was at a convention with Rising and my, and my other boy Jason, okay? I spent one of the nights drinking wine out of my other friend's cosplay boot in the hotel lobby before the rape. Listen, that's a good start to a year. That's a good start. It's a good start. Where did it all go wrong? Where did it all go wrong? Now I stream all the time and my chat's sending me shit like fucking, oh, I don't know. Cat ears, oh, haha, e boy, go wear the cat ears. That's so funny and, and, and quirky and cool. Hopefully, next year will be okay. We'll be back to normal. But if not, and you need more than two shows to get you through the year, okay? More than two shows get you through the year, go watch IQ. That shit's fire. I'm not gonna lie. I'm all caught up, okay? I don't even like sports. I don't know anything about volleyball. I'm all caught up. It's a good show. It's worth watching, for sure. If that doesn't suit your fancy, go watch my streams. Because, you know, Rising and Friends will keep sending me more cat ears and cat collars and sunglasses that are cat shaped and various outfits they want me to wear for TikToks. <sighs> It's been a year. It's been a year. If you have not already subscribed to this man, I know I shouldn't be the one to convince you to because it's not. It's not my channel, honestly. Listen, Rising, I love you, man. I love you, Rising, but look, it's not my channel. You should be the one who's, you know, getting them to do it. Okay, but listen. Hey, guys, 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 come back, come back, come back. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Chat. Don't leave. Commenters, likers, viewers, don't leave yet. Spam his comments to get me to appear in more of his videos. Let him know you want me back. That way I'll have to wait till next year to get a fucking call from the guy, huh? Listen to that. He he waits all year, doesn't give me a call. All of a sudden, bam. It's it's towards the end of the year, Kamori. Could you could you could you make a little video for my video for the end of the year? Yeah, I got you. I got you, bud. I got you. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just it's great. It's super cool. I'm just I'm just memeing him a little bit. I'm just memeing a little bit. Okay, he's a good guy. Greg's rude ass interrupted me from reading Naruto. Like I do every year around this time. I always restart Naruto, so I mean honestly. Honestly, whenever you see me next year, you'll probably see me reading Naruto again. I'll see you guys all again next year, I'm sure. All right, so in the meantime, have a happy holiday. Have a happy new year. Enjoy some really good anime. Hopefully, you might find a new waifu. I'm gonna go and do my yearly reread of Naruto. I'll probably see you next year holding the same book. Ready to go, all right? Until then, stay safe, stay warm, stay happy. Peace. Let's move this back over here. All right. Done recording, so Greg can get off my back. Now, what was I doing? Naruto, where was I? I think I was like here. Yeah, that was here. Okay.